In today's technical corner, I'm joined by Clinton of Autodesk, and we're going to be talking about in enhancements to their Vortex. I know it's been around for quite some time. I've seen a lot of it. You know, a lot of people use it. So how have you improved it? Yeah, we added Vortex to PowerMail oh, four or five years back. Um, and Vortex is a high efficiency roughing strategy. It's ideally aimed at uh, programmers that want to use solid carbide cutting tools to ma machine a variety of different materials. Hard materials particularly works well. Uh, and a Vortex strategy has got a, a relatively large depth of cut, but a very small radial width of cut. Um, and the essence of the strategy is to use a, a combination of tricordal movements to control and manage the engagement angle on the tool so that you can run your programs really quickly without breaking your cutting tools. Now with the 2019.0 release of a while back, we enhanced our Vortex strategy with a new Vortex from stock option which was actually adaptive clearing technology mm -hmm. plumbed into PowerMill. Um, and the Vortex from stock option is, is, is more efficient in many cases. The strategy has got offsets that are offset from the block in, mm -hmm. as opposed to based exclusively on the model. So you tend to get a shorter cycle time, fewer lifts off the part, um, all still with that goodness of having a constant angle of, of engagement on the tool, avoiding shock loading on the spindle of the machine. Now with the 2019.1 release, we've made one very small but significant change, and that is that we've, we've relaxed the restriction on step over. So previously, I think the step over was around about 50% of the tool diameter. Um, but obviously that, that limits the use of that strategy for mm -hmm. manufacturing large parts with indexable tooling, inserted cutters. And so for the 2019.1 release, we've relaxed that, so you can now use 99% of the tool diameter for a step over. So you've still got all that cool, smooth, efficient machining strategy, but for bigger parts of indexable that, tools. Like you say, that's quite a small enhancement, but so important. That was a limitation of Vortex, wasn't it? If you're using in a material such as aluminium, mm -hmm. and you want to get more than 50% engagement, like you say, yeah. you were prohibited. Well, the, the, the strategy was very clearly designed for use with solid carbide cutting tools, mm -hmm. and obviously there was, a, there was a, an end use in mind, but the strategies themselves can, can be redeployed with other tool types. So let's just get rid of that restriction and allow our users to use that great strategy with, with all of the tools that are available on the market. For sure. And this is, this is released now, this is in the release, you can, you can download this if you're a subscriber. Yes, yeah, so Vortex from stock, uh, as I say, it was in 2019.0. If, uh, if you're an existing user of PowerMill, um, you would have received that by now through the Autodesk desktop app. The 2019.1 update is also being pushed out to our customers. It was released, I think, on the 3rd of September. Mm -hmm. So our eligible customers will be receiving that in the coming days after that date. Um, and of course, if you're not using PowerMill and you want to experiment with this cool technology, you're welcome to download and use a 30-day free trial, which includes all of PowerMill's functionality from 2019, mm -hmm. and see for yourself. And, and my final question, you know, why have you done this? Is, it, is this coming from the client saying, Vortex is great, but it does have its limitations. Is that where, where it came from? Well, we, we did an analysis of the different high efficiency strategies that Autodesk offered. Um, in some of our other products, like the HSM product suite, mm. we had this cool adaptive clearing technology. And, and some of our customers said, you know what, we've used Fusion's adaptive clearing, we've used PowerMill's Vortex strategy. And to be fair, the adaptive clearing in certain cases is more efficient. And so it would be wrong of us to not take the goodness of that fusion adaptive clearing strategy and put it into PowerMill. And the feedback from our customers has been overwhelmingly positive. There we are. Thanks for your time, Clinton. Thank and you, Joe. Thanks for watching.